my name is Rob and today I feel like saving some food from being wasted in Scotland. So we're in Scotland this weekend and I figured this would be a great time to do a Too Good To Go and taste some fine Scottish delicacies but then all the Too Good To Go's ran out so we're gonna go get it from the M&S food at a petrol station. So we spent £4 on a bag from M&S food, we're gonna go pick it up, go through it as a mystery bag and see what we get. So counting against it, the actual place hasn't got a great review on Too Good To Go, it's got 3.4, which isn't great, and it's a petrol station, but uh, on the plus side, it is an M&S food, and we've had a Too Good To Go from there before, and it actually was pretty good. So we're gonna go pick it up and we're gonna see what we get, hopefully it's good. Um, we are in a hotel room, so hopefully there's gonna be some more snacky foods, rather than things to actually cook, but uh, we're just gonna see what we get. Hopefully it'll be good. Right, we're back, here is the bag. Let's go through it again as a mystery box as always. Just gonna put my hand in, pull out some stuff and see what we get. So again, this cost me four pounds. We're gonna see if all of this food is worth four pounds, basically. Uh, so we're gonna start with this thing, which feels like a sandwich. It is, it is an all day breakfast sandwich. Not too bad, they don't last very well though, do they? So it's sausage, egg, and something? Wait, where does it say what it is? Uh, British pork sausage, boiled egg, seasoned mayonnaise, tomato ketchup with smoked British bacon on white bread. I mean, that sounds pretty good. If I eat it tonight, it's probably not gonna last all that long, but that's not bad. What would that cost normally? Three pound? So apparently, officially, this originally cost £4.50, uh, so this would cover the cost of the bag normally. Again, this was from a petrol station, so it's going to be a bit more expensive. I think I'd pay £2 for that. Maybe a bit more. It is M&S. It's probably going to be pretty good. Um, not a bad start. Not a bad start. What else is in the bag? What else we got? Oh, we got something in a plastic bag. This is... Oh, a salad. <laughs> Santini tomato salad. I mean, it's a salad, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, crisp lettuce and refreshing cucumber in a classic French dressing. That uh, is the bare bones idea of a salad, but yeah, that's fine. I can eat that. Again, I'm looking for stuff that is going to be a snack for tonight. This isn't bad. Does it come with a fork to eat it with? I bet it doesn't. That's not bad. Okay, what else is in the bag? This feels like tomatoes. It is! <laughs> I mean, I do like to snack on a tomato, to be fair. Oh, actually, considering this is meant to be stuff that they'd throw out otherwise, these tomatoes are quite firm. A little while ago, I bought an avocado because it was on sale in Tesco because it was going out of date. So I put it in the fridge and more than two weeks later, it still hadn't even ripened, let alone gone off. Expiry dates are nonsense. Um, so, six tomatoes, it says it's worth a pound. That feels right. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, that's pretty good. And uh, next and probably last, yes, it feels like another sandwich. It's, <laughs> it's an entire pack of pancakes. Awesome. Can I have these cold? Because uh, if so, I mean, they do look really good. Uh, buttermilk pancakes, light, fluffy, rich with buttermilk. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, serve hot or cold, I could eat these as a snack. Perfect. They genuinely look so good, they're so thick and lovely. So officially this was £2.10 originally. I mean £1, I'd probably say. Um, um, and that is it, that is everything from this bag. Not the most exciting bag, not the biggest, most full bag, but again, it's from an a petrol station, what would you expect? So this is everything from the bag. Uh, officially, originally this would have cost £11.30. We got it for £4, which is pretty good. But on their own, I feel like £4 probably is right for this amount of food. I don't think I'd pay much more than that for these things. But overall, pretty good. Well, it's always exciting to do a Too Good To Go. It's gambling, but you get food out of it. That's what I always say. So it's a little bit annoying that we couldn't get anything else in Scotland while we were here, but oh well, uh, it's fun that we did that at least. Thanks so much for watching, my name is Rob and I will see you in another random video very soon.